How's it going, everybody? How's your day so far? Sorry about the music. That's my way of getting hyped up before I do a, a video or a live stream because sometimes anxiety can be at, at its all-time high when you go to record a video. My way of releasing that anxiety is playing my favorite... I don't even know what, what what would you call up church. He's he's a rapper. He sings country music. He sings rock music. He's freaking like the best. Like I relate with a lot of his music. So yeah. Yeah. All right. So today is another episode of questions from you guys and I answer them. So I'm going to find a color to work on here. Let's make sure you guys are seeing what I'm... You see? Yep, okay. Let's turn you guys a little bit. There you go. Okay, what am I going to work on first? Let's go with four. Number four. Quantro. Where is Quantro? Oh, he's on number 40. Okay. So how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's fantastic. My day's been pretty spectacular. Um, I don't know why I'm trying to sing with it, but yeah, uh, I'm in a good mood. Hey, you know. So let's go ahead and jump right into it and have some questions from the audience. So. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, this is my weekly Wednesday whip and chat. If you would like to ask me a question, leave it in the comments. If you don't feel like leaving it in the comments, message me. Instagrams, Facebook, however, you know, uh, emails in the description. Yeah, and I just dropped my my drill. My patty wax is getting old, but I haven't put patty wax in this pen in a while. So, let's get right into the questions. You hear me? The first question that we have is, do you think your anxiety has gotten better since you've been putting or since you've been doing a whipping chat or your lives or is it worse to be honest doing YouTube and and stepping out of my comfort zone has made my anxiety better yes I still get anxiety before recording a video or before I re go live every freaking time I feel like I'm gonna have a panic attack. I feel like I'm gonna go crazy. Insane in the membrane. So yeah. But yes, it has helped tremendously. I used to be before where I didn't like talking on the phone very much. And my patty wax is sucking because I just dropped another drill. Uh, where I never liked talking on the phone. Now I, I, I actually intervene with people, or not inter I guess it would be intervene, I actually get to talk to you guys, and meet some awesome, like I said, awesome, awesome people, uh, so yeah, I think doing my weekly whip and chat, and doing my live streams, and doing YouTube in general, has helped me tremendously, and like you heard it there for a split second, my music, before I go live, before I record anything, I jam out to my favorite artist, and that gets me hyped up, gets me ready to go, and just just come into it and jump into it with you guys. Ah, my battle wax is not doing good today. Maybe it's because this room's been cold today. So. Hopefully that answers the question. Yes, it has helped out tremendously. 
I I wouldn't be putting out a weekly whipping chat if I didn't feel comfortable. My anxiety at first is a little and then it's like, okay, I'm good. You know, try it. Listen to some of your favorite music. Mary Jane, get off my shelf. I swear, she's trying to steal my squirrels or something. I have squirrels up there. Don't do it. I swear, I'm going to lock her out of this bedroom. Fat cat, you have your own spot. All right. I'll be right back. Okay. Sorry about that. I had to chase the cat out of here. For some reason, ever since I put these new shelving cabinets, whatever the hell you want to call them, in my craft room, she thinks they're like her jungle gym because she can just crawl all over. <sighs> Tell you what. Cat is a pain in my butt. And then Trapper walks up to her just to see what she's doing because I'm telling her to get out of there. And she freaking smacks him across his face and cuts him. I'm just like, Cat, you're going to start getting locked out of this room. That's all there is to it. All you want to do is climb on my sh shit. The other day, she climbed from the chair to my diamond painting. And then put her claws into my diamond painting to jump the rest of the way on top of the cabinet. I was like, mm, you're going to get your neck broken in about 2.5 seconds, woman, if you don't get the hell out of my craft room. Whew. Breathe, Jeremy, breathe. Whew. Okay. Yeah. She, she's just been annoy annoying the hell out of me with this, like... Uh, it's not a jungle gym for you to come in and freaking go climbing all over the place. She's got a spot in here that's over here beside me. And she's completely safe and away from Trapper. Well, he will not bug her. But she wants everywhere else where she's not supposed to be. Ugh. If I get another dog, what am I going to do? I'm going to have two dogs chasing the damn cat. Because Trapper don't chase Mary Jane normally. Trapper and Mary Jane play back and forth with each other. Where she'll chase him and then he will chase her. And then they chase each other back and forth. But he doesn't, like, if he goes outside and sees a cat and a cat runs, he will chase it. But he doesn't do anything to them, yet at least, that I've, I've known of. But, like, as soon as I start raising my voice to Mary Jane, telling her to get the hell out of my stuff, that's when he's like, oh, well, Dad's telling you to get the hell out of there? I'll tell you to get the hell out of there, too. Yeah, go figure. Sorry for the language, folks. I had to... A vent. I had to get it out. Oh, uh, this this is going to be crazy, 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 crazy. But yeah, now you see why I listen to music to get into a rhythm, to get into get my head right, get my mind at a spot where I'm comfortable. And there's a lot of a lot of stuff that influences that. Uh, good boy. How's your face? I just worry she's gonna get him in his eyeball one of these days, and I'm gonna kill a cat. Cause <laughs> don't mess with my boy. Alright, I need to change color, and I'm going to get to the next question and quit squirreling away over here. Uh, am I opening my Etsy shop? I keep getting this question. 
people keep seeing stickers popping up here and there because I sent out some stickers for Christmas because I had extra stickers made up. I don't know if I'm opening my Etsy shop. At this point in time, no. If I wasn't working 50 to 60 hours a week, hell yeah. But right now, 50 to 60 hours a week at work and then doing YouTube four days a week, I have no time to stop after work and go and make stickers. Because what the hell symbol is that? It takes me quite a bit of time to make those stickers. Because I have to sit there and peel each and every one of them apart. If you go back through my YouTube, you'll actually find in my YouTube where I made a video of how I make those stickers. Trapper Dude Forever. Leave your sister alone. Number 41. So yeah, as of right now, I, I don't think I will be opening up my Etsy shop anytime soon. And if I did, I probably wouldn't be opening up Etsy. Um, there were some things I was getting a little pissed off about over there. But, eh, that's just a completely different day and a completely different story. You know what I mean? Burn. Okay. Number three. What is your favorite thing to cook? That's a hard question, to be honest. Um, my favorite thing to cook. I love cooking breakfast. Breakfast is like is everything to me. I wake up in the morning and I I need food now. Now. Like 10 minutes after I wake up, if I'm not eating something, you ain't getting anything out of me from the rest of the day. Just saying. So, I love cooking breakfast and I love baking. I'm always baking cookies or a cake or whatever it may be. Um, one of my favorite things is barbecuing a tri-tip. Or, well, I guess, I guess it's really smoking a tri-tip. Because my barbecue smoker, whatever the hell you want to call it, it's got a spot for charcoal uh, briquettes. Good lord, I can't even speak or say my words today. It's got a spot for briquettes, so it has heat. But it also has a side spot for, for your wood chips or whatever you want to use. My favorite thing to cook with is oak. It has a really good natural flavor to to it um, so usually I just go to the wood pile and find a piece of wood and chop it up into smaller chips and that's what I use to cook with or smoke attractive uh, I mean I love cooking everything there's nothing I don't like to cook. I mean, if it's got something to do with onions, leave me out of it because I don't like onions. But I could pretty much make everything. There's some Mexican food that I won't touch because, well, not very good at it. I love making enchiladas. My favorite is tostados. Is it tostados? No. Taquitos. It's one of my chicken taquitos. Chicken cheese taquitos. Oh my... Oh! Absolutely one of my favorite things to make. And my family goes freaking nuts over for them because my mom used to make them the way I make them. And... My mom's been gone since 
2000. So, whenever I do make them, I'll make like, I don't know, 40 or 50 of them. And they're gone in, in like no time. I mean, I'll sit down and I'll eat five or six or seven of the things. And I don't make small ones. I make good sized ones. Yeah, I have to say that's my favorite thing to make. I'll make taquitos. With guacamole. <laughs> I, I don't know if this was actually a question or what, but I think it said question in front of it, but it's, it says, what is wrong with people? <laughs> to be honest, I don't know what's wrong with people today. Like, uh, a lot of jealousy. Like, if I'm doing something and somebody likes my idea, and they get jealous because, like, oh, why didn't I think of that? Why didn't I do that? You know? It's, like I said before, I'm not a jealous person, so I don't care what people think or what people say. You know? You smell me? Yeah, you smell me. You, you, want, you know what I'm saying. Um, let's see. Next question. Trying to see if I can read my own handwriting. Oh. What are some of the other hobbies you have? Well. Besides crafts. I mean, I consider crafting a hobby. So. Right now, I'm working on diamond painting. I do some coloring. I have a paint my number going. I even have a beaded cross stitch that I've been working on. Uh, that's coming along slow. I like to ride horses when I have the time to go over and ride horses. That's, I consider that a relaxing hobby because the girls next door own horses and yeah. They're cute little cowgirls, and I like going over and riding their horses. Um, plus, my duty here at the property is to make sure... I'm trying to figure out if that's an F or an H. It's an F. Uh, one of my duties, or chore, or whatever you want to call it, or... I guess you could even call it a hobby, is I split and stack all of the firewood. The last year, I split and stacked probably five cords of firewood. Um, we've got probably another eight or nine cords that needs to be split but we don't have no room to stack it, so no no rush on that. Um, another one of my hobbies that I absolutely love to do is, which I don't think I've ever told you guys, but RC cars. Absolutely love RC cars. I have two of them right now. One's an electric, one is a gasoline. Well, it's not really gasoline, it's freaking, it's, it's, uh, nitro. It goes zing 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 I'm up and down the road. Piss people off because as they're driving down the road, because my road that I live off of is paved because there's a water district at the end of my road. So... They paved the road for the water district, basically. Because our road used to be the bumpiest dirt road around. Until the water district said, Oh, we want to pave the road. Yeah, I kind of took the fun out of the road. Because now people just 
come out here and drag race. And hey, I don't bother me none because I take my truck out there, and that's another hobby, uh, working on trucks. I don't know if you guys know, I'm like a Heinz 57 when it comes to uh, doing stuff. So to say, uh, I'm a cook. I've been a chef. I'm a printer. And I also love to wrench on a motor. In my time of 42 years being on this earth, I have built... I Honestly, I can't even remember how many motors I have built. And what I mean by built is where I tore the whole motor down, machined it all, put new pistons, cam, ring, uh, valve covers, I mean like everything from top to bottom in a motor. I think I've built uh, about 20 Chevy 350s. And I built a Ford, which my first car was a Ford. Hey. Um, yeah. That says a lot because I hate Fords. Now people will under understand why I hate Fords. People sit there and go, oh, Ford tough. No. Oh, Ford effed over rebuilt Dodge. I can't stand Fords. My grandfather was a Ford guy, and he had more problems than he knew what to deal with when it come to a Ford. Maybe it was just bad luck on my grandfather's part. I don't know, but ever since my car blew up, after I built a brand new motor for it, it drove perfectly fine for days. It overheated on me one day. I took it down, took the head out. Took it to my uncle. He put it on his lathe and uh, turned the head so it was had a nice clean level surface again because it did warp the head a little bit because it got hot because of its aluminum head and nothing was wrong with it. It was still complete working order. It just where it got hot at it warped it like. Uh, oh point, oh point, oh, uh, oh point, oh two tenths of a centimeter, something like that. So it was like very, very minute. So I had him bore it, or, uh, yeah, leveled it. Put it back on, drove it two more times, and then it it died for good. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm not putting no more money into this freaking car. So yeah, right now I have a Chevy pickup that my mom and dad bought from the showroom floor in 76, the year before I was born. That is my sexy beast. Um, it is a project truck. I am re... Uh, uh, restoring it. There you go. I was like, duh. Restoring it. Um, I'm not going factory on it. There's nothing factory about that truck. The motor in it, I built. It is a Chevy 350 that has been bored over to a Chevy... Oh, uh, it was bored 60 over, so 383. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you guys are all probably like, huh? But yeah. Um, maybe I'll make a video on that when I get to, get to there. Right now, our shop here at the house, which is, like, 
10 feet up this window right here is the shop where my truck sits right now and we are going through the shop and redoing a bunch of wiring because the wiring was wired wrong when my brother did the wiring so we're redoing a bunch of that right now and when that's done my truck is getting put into a new bay because there it you can fit uh one two three four four cars in there right now probably could fit five but with all the other crap that's in there because there's shelving in there there's nuts and bolts and everything in there so once that is done my truck will come over and i will start welding everything up because it, it used to have a metal trim that went a, a metal beauty trim it was a metal and it wasn't even, it wasn't even metal it was aluminum it but it looked like a nice brushed metal um and it was a beauty ring that went around the truck and when it started falling off instead of replacing the clips that hold it on my dad went and grabbed a self-tapping screw and just zoop, screwed it right to the the truck so like the bed of the truck had like I don't know 150 screws in it and my brother says are you keeping this and I said nope I can't find it anywhere without ha without spending probably I don't know fifteen hundred dollars for it and I don't particularly like it on there my truck is is lowered it's got a big old motor in it it's got a big old fat tire on the back side of it it is mainly used for a drag drag truck I uh, I pull up to different places around town that are having like a little drag race event or something and I go out there and I I run it and I I beat beat a lot of people in that truck and they're just like look at me like how it's a small legal truck because my truck was one year off from being off the smog list but Arnold Schwarzenegger changed that law so I got held back one year on the smog on that truck but it still does the job so anyways I'm squirreling over here talking about my truck my truck's one of my pride and joys just like Trapper is um, that truck my dad told me you need to sell that piece of shit and get rid of it I'm trying to sell you and get rid of you before I sell them and get rid of that truck that was my mama's truck I ain't getting rid of that truck that truck could still tell a story um I have a picture somewhere of that truck actually I think it's in this what did I do with that I thought I just had that. Yeah, well. A cuteness picture. So this is a picture of me when I was a little wee little boy and a picture of my truck truck don't look nothing like that now it's been painted white and has a bunch of modifications done to it to make it go fast 
Go boom boom boom. <laughs> so, can you make out the wolf over here? It's really dark looking on you for you guys. I'm trying to figure out a good uh, angle to record from, so you guys have a good view. If I go above me, I always seem to hit my head because I do have a drafting table so I can pull it up at an angle. Makes life a lot easier. So, now I'm over here scrolling away. Let's go ahead and get into another question. Uh, do you have plans on doing a beaded cross stitch on your YouTube? Um, beaded cross stitch I got into because I was challenged by Creative Mayhem. And you all know me, I don't back down from a challenge. Um, so I am working on a small squirrel beaded cross stitch. And I do have a beaded cross stitch that looks just like Trapper. Eventually I'll get to that. But as for right now, I don't know if I'll ever do it on my channel. There are so many people out there that do it on their channel. And it's something that I don't quite feel comfortable with yet. Eventually, I might. In... And then, today... I had somebody message me. I don't even... I wasn't even going to talk about this. But it was brought to my attention two times. So I figured I might as well just tell y'all where to pack it. <laughs> uh, no, I'm kidding. But it has been brought to me, my attention twice today. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you guys straight forward. I don't know if I'm the first person that thought of doing a whip and chat and, and letting you guys ask me questions and then I read them back off to you next week. I don't know. So today I seen Sister Addiction put up a whip and chat and said, ask me a question. I had like two or three people message me. Well, she stole your idea. She's still in your clout. I'm just like... Nobody's stealing clout. The ones that are stealing clout are out there doing videos for freaking because of somebody's big name in it. Like somebody puts a big name like Ryan Upchurch in their video. Oh, guess what? Yeah, they're going to get some clout off of that because Ryan Upchurch has almost 2 million subscribers. Do I care that Sister Addiction's doing it? No. Am I the first one that did it? I don't know. It just, one night I was thinking, what can I do that's different for my channel, for my whipping chats, instead of just talking all the time. And then I was like, why didn't I never think about that? I'll just have it to where people can ask me questions. So, am I the original person that came up with it? Don't have a clue. And I don't care that Sister Addiction is... Doing the same thing with her channel or her whip and chat. It don't bother me. Like I said, I ain't jealous. I ain't jealous of nobody. Nobody has anything for me to be jealous about. So, for everybody who's asking, it don't matter to me. To be honest, it don't matter. She does a video, great. I'll go watch it. I ain't scared. Are you scared to go watch your video? It don't matter. Quit asking me stupid questions about stuff like this. It's like, good God. It don't matter. 
And if I was the original person that came up with this, and people are using it, well, that just means I came up with a cool idea. You know? That's all it means, is I came up with a cool idea. And people like my idea, and they're using it. That's all. So, straighten that up right there. And if you're sassy over it, then I'll give you some chapstick for your chapped ass. I don't care. I'm tired of the stupidness that goes on. Okay, uh, let's see what was my last thing over here. Oh, I guess that was it. But, I do have to talk to you guys about my cooking videos. I haven't had a cooking video in a, a week or so, or two weeks, or whatever it's been. A month? I don't even remember. I don't know what day it is. Okay? I keep being asked, where's them cooking videos, Jeremy? I know, Mrs. Coffee. I know. I got you. So, uh, I'm going to talk about it here, and so Wednesday, you guys will get the whip and chat. Thursday, you'll get beaded, uh, I almost said beaded cross stitch. No beaded cross stitch. Native American beading. Finish up that, show you guys how to complete it, all that good stuff, and then Friday will be a cooking video. So... That's what I want to talk about right now. So, this cooking video that you guys are going to see Friday was a video that I recorded Christmas Day. Okay? This was supposed to be a collaboration video between me and another creator. And it was supposed to go up Friday after Christmas. I asked her if she had her video ready to go. She said no. So I never uploaded mine. Well, it's been like, what, we're on 121.20? So, I'm almost a month after Christmas, and still nothing. So, I'm just going to put it up, and you'll hear me talk a little bit about Christmas, asking you how my Chris year all Christmas was, you know, so I am sorry about about that. It is delayed. I didn't want to put it up and be disrespectful to her because we had planned this, but she said she wasn't able to get hers done, and then I gave her a, a, a good while, and I never heard nothing back, so I was just like, well, I'm not going to keep sitting on this video, you know, it's, it's, I've talked about stuff that's like a month old, you know, so I'm just gonna put it out there, so Friday, cooking video, remember, uh, it's gonna be a, a, you know, like a month late, but it is what it is, and then after that, I will get back on schedule with my cooking videos, and the first video, so Friday of this Thursday Friday you guys will get well Monday I yeah I kind of fluffed off Monday video uh, I didn't really have anything going on Monday is usually a day I like to do an unboxing or a um, post review or whatnot I've only got the middle section of this canvas to go so I've been pushing and pushing to get it done so I can move on and try to get others done before uh, I'm just gonna say there's a collaboration coming in the future and trying to get as much as the ones that I have kitted up done Except for Victoria's Moon, because I'm probably not going to touch that for a while. 
Oh, come on, Patty Wax. You got this. Don't want to. It's just. I haven't used this. I've been using the crap out of this pen. I haven't changed it in a while. So it, it gets a little dry. So. Then I'll be back on my, my normal every other Friday video. Uh, so in. What? That would be two weeks from Friday. I will have another video. And I'm going to teach you guys how to make. A, uh, my milk gravy because I've had quite a few people ask me what was that sauce you used on your breakfast pizza well it was milk gravy and I learned how to use that or teach just how to make that so I was like okay I can do that that's like I was taught how to make milk gravy when I was like eight years old so I figured eh, I'll show you guys how to make a milk gravy. Um, and then I figured while I'm making milk gravy, I might as well make a freaking some homemade biscuits, sausage, whatever comes to mind. I thought about making some uh, um, chicken fat steak. I still might go find a coop steak and make a chicken fat steak. Yeah, never know. We'll find out when the time comes. So that is to the near future. And then after that, I don't know what my cooking video is going to be. I still have to figure something out. Um, I don't like to get, like, into, like, a bunch of detail on my cooking videos. I, I try to keep them easy. And something that you guys can just, you know, snack or lunch or even a dinner sometimes. Um, I've noticed a few people went back through and watched my my uh, redneck pizza video. And they were like, where's the sauce? Yeah, I'm not a big sauce guy, so. Especially pizza sauce. So, yeah thought about remaking that, but I've already made it once. Why would I want to remake it? So, I gotta find something to make. I'm sure I'll find something. I have a really good recipe. A, a recipe? Did you hear that? A recipe. A recipe. I can't even say it now. A recipe. I have a really good recipe uh, for some uh, potatoes. Uh, might do something with that. I wish I had my cream of broccoli recipe. Rendered down. I have a, a cream of broccoli recipe. But the issue is it was from back when I was in culinary arts. And the recipe is freaking like can feed like 100 people. So I would have to condense it down and, and figure it all out. I'm, I may make it that one day. I don't know. We'll see. We will see. So that's all my questions and talk about food. So if you guys would like to ask me a question just leave them in the comment section. That way next week's with the chat I can ask a question. I'm, I'm actually really enjoying this so it's kind of fun. Uh, let's see. Anything to close? Oh, yeah. So, Trapper needs to go to bed soon because he still has this cough that will not go away. Now, when he's in the house, he don't cough. 
when he's in his kennel, he coughs. So, I seriously don't know what the deal is with him. Why he's coughing so much. But, I'll get it figured out. So, Saturday, uh, I'm going to call this week and see if I can get him in Saturday. That's about the only day I have available. I have to watch my dad's little pooch dog, uh, Daisy, and because they're going out of town for a little while. So yeah, that's about all I can think about. Let's see. Anything else? In the new, near future, I have a couple snack diamond paintings coming um, from a new company. I found watching GB Montes video. So I bought a couple snacks. Super cute. Whenever those show up, because they were from like the UK or something. Because it it was in pounds, I had to convert it from pounds to US dollars to figure out how much it was. So that will be coming whenever they decide to get here and then um, I have to buy some more beads for Native American beading god hair my hair is freaking driving me crazy it's like it doesn't want to stay out of my damn face it's like I hold up in a ponytail and it still wants to be in my face it's disrespectful I woke up this morning and I was like, that's it, shave it, just shave it, shave it. I went in, I grabbed the clippers, I threw on a blade, turned them on, looked in the mirror and I was like, ugh, I can't do this. I've worked a year to get my hair this long. I can't just cut it when I'm so close to my goal. So, I will be letting it go, because when I went to go start cutting it, I thought of my mom, and I was like, yep, I, I, I hear what you're saying, mom, you can't cut it yet, let it grow, I know, I know, so I put the clippers down, so if you guys don't know why my hair is long, because I am trying to grow it out so I can donate it to somebody who has cancer and needs hair to make a wig. Um, back when my mom had cancer, there wasn't a lot of options to get wigs in my area. And then when we did find a nicer wig for her, it was... I bought one of them for her because she couldn't afford it, and it was six hundred dollars. So, I I completely understand where where people say it's hard finding hair to get a wig, and my hair is so so baby soft. It's just it's just it's so soft. And I know, I know it would make a good wig. So, letting it grow. Can't cut it. Um, this coming up week at work, well the rest of this week at work, is going to be absolutely nuts. This guy that... 
we used to be friends with. He calls us and said, hey, can you guys print 10,000 envelopes by Friday? And I'm just like, uh, okay. At first, I didn't want nothing to do with it because, especially after what he did. I'm not going to go into detail because it's nobody in anybody's business. But my boss was like, well, what should I tell him? I said, you're the boss. You tell him what you want to tell him. And he goes, no, no. He's like, you're the boss. You're the one that's going to have to print them. And I said, and I, I turned around and I walked away. And I said, you're the boss. You make the shots. And, of course, he said, yeah, we can have them done by Friday. Yeah, so my workload just doubled. I have until Friday to get 10,000 envelopes printed. So fun, fun for me. And then uh, the beginning of February, my boss is taking off for vacation. So that makes it really nice for me too. I mean, I know I'll get the envelopes done before he goes on vacation and I'll get caught up before he goes on vacation, but it's like, I want a vacation. I don't, I don't take vacations. The only time I take any time off is when I go hunting. And I usually only get to take off a day or two because I am the one that does 90% of everything around the shop. I run the shop, basically. I don't do graphic designs, and I don't do bookkeeping. But everything else, I pretty much can do. Uh, I've been thinking about going into to taking some online classes to become a graphic designer because if I did it would lighten up my boss's workload a lot he could actually go out and try to make sales trying to make some new business uh, he asked me to go out and do sales once and I was like nope There'd be a bonus involved. Nope. Are you sure? Uh-huh. Why? Because I, I don't like talking to people. Plain and simple. That was like 20 years ago. Or maybe not quite. It was probably about 10 years ago. Because I've been working there for 20. So, yeah. It, I was like, nope. I, nope. I, I don't want to go out and make sales because I don't want to go out and have to talk to people. Nope, nope, and nope. So, I do everything else. Uh, let's see. Anything else coming? I do need to place another order for some beads. Like, I think I said that already. I'm, I'm. I'm scatterbrained. I'm sorry. Now I understand why my dad gets so scatterbrained. Because, like, I can say something and then, like, ten minutes later, it's like, did I say that already? Did I already mention that? Like, start sec second guessing myself. But, that's, that's just me. Because my brain is fried. Trying to remember our birth thing. So, let's see. Anything else? Anything else? I don't think there's anything else that I need to mention or talk about. 
Let's see. In this camera, can you make out that wolf? Not really. Let's, let's, uh, scoochy, 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 butchy. And let's see. There you go. Yeah. You can make out somewhat of a wolf. Well, I guess this, he's got gray eyeballs. It's darker than I would expect him to be, but... He is... Back there in the shadow. Trap! Sorry about that, guys. He's probably seen deer or somebody pulling in the driveway that's not supposed to be here because that's his job. So, I hope you all enjoyed the video today. If uh, you would like to leave a question for me in the comments or if you don't feel comfortable commenting it down below, you can also message me on Instagram or Facebook. Um, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring that bell so you know when I post again. And like always, if you look in the affiliate, or look in the affiliate, if you look in the description box, it'll show my affiliate, my email. Um, uh, I... I did some extra little stuff in the uh, description box, trying to divide it up better. Uh, shows everything, my Facebook group, Instagram, affiliate. So, I hope you all have a wonderful day. Don't forget to have your peace, love, and treat each other with the respect you deserve to be treated. And I hope you have a great day.